Welcome to the SCP Network, where we sell commercial products. No, uh, I've been thinking legitimately recently about the possibility of expanding my merchandise offerings, especially with Christmas coming up. And I have genuinely considered, not through Teespring, if you scroll down, uh, there should be a carousel underneath my videos, which actually includes stuff like this poster or the uh, you're wrong about this t-shirt or you're wrong about this hat or you're wrong all, there's a long list you're wrong about this mug there's a long list of products that they offer but um really <clears throat> the limitation is that you could just offer products and put your stamp on them you can't really design your own products and i have given some serious consideration to the idea of uh scp products like toy figurines and stuff like that uh because let's face it and uh people who are watching this i've looked at my demographics that they kind of run the gamut but a lot of you guys are 20 30 40 year olds and i know you if you're anything like me at least uh you never really truly grew up at least not up here uh, so uh you know like how many youtubers have like a shelf of stuff behind them with like funko pops and uh, just a variety of uh, uh, comics and stuff like that. And you look at the SCP community and it's just not there yet. And the funny part is, is that I feel like the SCP community is genuinely going mainstream. So where's the, where's the, where's the toys? Where's the, where's the stat? Where's the Cain and Abel uh, Funko Pop? And I feel like, or, or uh, a Plague Doctor, that sort of thing. Um, and I feel like there's so many super, like, super good opportunities for that kind of stuff for uh, creators and non-creators alike. The problem I think it's going to run into is like, who are you marketing to? Because I genuinely don't believe SCP content should be marketed towards children. But how do you market toys towards adults? I mean, people do it. It's a thing. I think the idea is that the normally that people create a toy of content that is specifically not focused at kids and so they're the only ones who would buy those toys problem with scp content is that the demographics run from you know bull like eight years old five years old even to uh, 75 100 whatever Ugh. like not too long ago i remember my <laughs> I don't know if I told this on the video yet, but my nephew, last Thanksgiving it was, uh, was it last th Thanksgiving? No, I think it was sometime in the middle of this year. It's that's, it feels like that was too far back. Anyway, the point is, is that, um, he started talking about siren head at the, uh, at the table while we were having like a holiday meal. I don't remember which holiday. And he said, he was talking about how siren head. My dad said, well, what's siren head? And my nephew said, it's an SCP. And we had this. Oh, I did think I talked about this in a meme video, but I, I can talk about it again. And he's my, he said that and I gave him like a long, not long, maybe minute and a half long uh, speech about uh, property or like intellectual property rights that he certainly didn't understand uh, and then let him know that it wasn't an SCP. Um, so obviously kids know about this, even my nephew, like. Every once in a while when a premiere is going on, I'll be wa I'll be watching the premiere and chatting with people and he'll like poke his head in and be like, ha, that's your channel because he wants to see my channel and I won't let him because he's not yet old enough yet. He's only eight. Yeah, he's only eight. He's going to turn nine this uh, year before this year is out. And like I want to create and sell products that appeal to adults without selling them to children. And I don't think that's possible i also don't exactly at the moment this is just a lark i had this morning where i was thinking about it and with the you know uh christmas holiday season coming up it felt like a good time to do this video to ask you to tell me what kind of products you would like to see but i have to thread the needle and <laughs> how do i sell childlike toys to adults and i just don't know that that's possible There's got to be a way, right? I'll come up with some. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. 
the only real way you can do that is to price it out of the children's uh, price range. But then you're probably not going to sell it to the adults. So, yeah. I'm going to give that some careful consideration. But I'm going to think about, like, what particular SCPs could make good toys. So we already talked about, like, Funko Pop style or just even just figurine style stuff of Kane, Dr. Bright, uh, Abel, the Plague Doctor. You could do these as uh, figurines and action figures, is even if not like more stylized stuff. Um, the just the various doctors, Doctor Samarian would make a pretty good little figurine too. Uh, he's got a distinctive profile and uh, look. Um, Doctor Bright, you make work with literally any design you want. You just put the necklace on him. You could do Clef with his shotgun. You could do. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I saw a beautiful, beautiful design by Volg, and I should talk to him about the possibility of using it. But I saw a beautiful 3D design of Vol uh, Volgans that he made for SCP-999, which would make an amazing, amazing toy. Um, it looked like a shiny plastic little uh, toy. Would work perfectly stuff like that you could also do the one uh, monkeys f figurine i cannot remember the number off the top of my head but it's the one that's a monkey figurine that's just has a thing on the bottom of it that says to the cleverest like it's the one with the symbols but i mean like genuinely oh wonder and wondertainment i am sure now a lot of wondertainment stuff is impossible to do but i am sure if you looked through the wondertainment catalog you'd probably find a dozen or more uh potential toy ideas that actually could be created not non-anomalously <laughs> leave the anomaly out of it but you could create them uh and yeah like there's so much opportunity on the scp wiki for this and i should really think about like actually working on that. i think i'm gonna work on that over the next month or so yeah yeah throw some of my advertising revenue to scp creators and see what i can come up with so yeah you guys can talk in the comments below about like what you think would work best uh and i'll take some of those ideas into consideration yeah yeah anyway Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want some SCP merchandise, scroll down to the carousel, click through, and buy a You're Wrong About This poster poster, or You're Wrong About This mug mug. I've been thinking about doing a You're Wrong About This mask mask, but I haven't been able to uh, get the design finished. Anyway. Oh, and again, hit the subscribe button. Clarence, I'm not joking. You've been watching this channel for how long and you still haven't subscribed, Clarence? It's unacceptable behavior. It's unacceptable behavior and I'm not accepting it. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who have both pledged at $100 and Morgan who's pledged at $40. And just a note, I am probably, yeah, I'm not going to say probably, I am going dark for Thanksgiving. Um, American Thanksgiving is coming up. It's a pretty big holiday. It's going to be a pretty busy day for me. And I wouldn't be able to come to the premiere anyway, so I'm just going to go dark for that day. Thank you very much for watching. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again next Tuesday.